Welcome back. I'm Monica, Recreation Coordinator for the City of Los Angeles Department of Rec and Parks. Welcome to Rec Connect LA, where we bring the parks to you. Today, I'm with Channel 35, and I'll be teaching an abs and glute workout. For today's session, you'll need a set of dumbbells, a yoga mat, water, and a towel. Optional ankle and resistance weights, as well as jump ropes if you have them. Let's start off with a march in place. Warming up that body here. As you're gathering your equipment, be sure to like and share this video on Facebook. Cleansing breath, you wanna breathe into the nose and exhale nice and slow through the mouth. We're gonna take the legs, feet nice and wide, deep and hull up in those knees. You're gonna exhale, sit into it, brush the floor if you can. Nice and tall, lengthen and hull up. Exhale, brush the floor. Two more here, nice and tall, lengthen and hull up. Exhale, last one here, and hull up. Good job. Keeping your hands on the floor, toes, knees forward. We're gonna rock side to side into a side lunge. Slowly increasing your range of motion, keeping that chest lifted, lower back is flat. Holding it here for about 30 seconds, and then we're gonna carefully come up. Warming up the lower part of the body. Four. And then we're gonna get right into our workout. Working off time, not reps. Walk your hands up towards your thighs. Bend those knees, inhale up. Taking your time. We're gonna go into full range of motion here. Pushing those hips forward. Open up here, looking good. Keep it up. Couple of rounds on this side. And then we're gonna change directions. Opening up here. You got it. Reverse. Taking your time. Cleansing breath. You wanna breathe into the nose. Exhale to the mouth. Last two here. You got it, come on. Back to that march. Roll it up or jog. I'll leave that up to you. Pumping out those arms, flexing that heart. Travel with me here, forward and back. You got it, come on. Cleansing breath, opening up that chest and heart, that rib cage, arms up. Good job. Two more here, open up, take it back. We're gonna go into squats. Toes, knees forward. Walk the legs, feet out to a calf race. Looks like this. All the way down. Stretch at the top. You got it. Breathing in. As you stand up, exhale. Chest is lifted, keeping that torso upright. Think about bringing your tailbone straight back. Shift those hips back. Give me about 20 seconds here. And then we're gonna take it onto our mat to focus a bit more on our core. It's summertime year round in Los Angeles. So you definitely wanna stay in tip top shape. Yep, abs and glutes, who's ready? You're like, no Monica, I'm ready, ready. Good job, let's go onto our mat. If you don't have a mat, that's fine. A towel will work just fine. You're gonna sit it into it, bend those knees, walk out to your plank. Shoulders relax, roll back, brace for the core. Engage, we're gonna hold it here for just a few seconds. Checking in with your form. Your wrist and ankle should be aligned. If your butt's in the air, and it almost actually want, makes it look like you wanna transition into a downward facing dog, just readjust. Engaging to that core, which is what? Abs, lower back, glutes, yes? Holding it here, breathing into the nose. Slowly exhale into the mouth through that core. Now, if you need to modify this plank and come onto those forms, that's fine. If you need further assistance in readjusting, reassessing, you can drop to the knees, right? Keeping that core engaged. So whichever one you're doing, that's perfectly fine as long as you keep that core tight, okay? 10 more seconds. Engage. 
And then along with the spawn, we tend to drop, reassess, readjust. Now we're gonna bring those knees down to the floor. You want your knees underneath the hips, shoulders, wrist align. We're gonna go into a cat cow. Round that back, drop that chin to the chest. Lengthen, neutral, gaze up, arch the back. Big movement. Round that back, neutral position, reset, and arch. So you're gonna go at your own pace. We'll be here for about 30 seconds. So when we talk about engaging through the core, engaging through the abdominals, I want you to visualize you bringing your belly button to your spine and releasing, exhaling. That's when we hit abs. Yep, you got it. Last few seconds here. Same deal. When we work our legs, those glutes, think about stretching out the glutes and squeezing. Sit back. So that stretch is just as important as that squeeze. Make your way up. Carefully come up. So we did talk about optional ropes for today's workout. In other words, if you don't have a pair, it's okay, you can shadow rope with me, right? So we're here for about one minute, and then we'll go right into lifting. Light on the feet, falls to the feet here. 60 second push. Last 30 seconds of this minute, I want you to go all out. Full on, double ready. Come on. Getting acquainted with the ropes. If you're brand new, take your time. If you need a break, you can always stick with the march or a light jog in place. Last few seconds here. Full on speed, fat. Burn. Let's go. 30 seconds here. You got it. Come on. Breathing into the nose. Exhale to the mouth. Keep it up here. Come on. Woo. Wrapping up. Last 10 seconds here. Full on, full on. Excellent job. Slowing it down. You got those ropes, place them off to the side, out of your way. Using our weights, bend those legs, knees, never use that back. We're gonna go into a nice deep squat to a curtsy lunge. Chest up, hips, butt back. So you're gonna alternate. All the way down, all the way up. Once again, when you get out of that lunge, out of your squat is when you want to exhale. Use your butt to lift. Solid minute here, take your time. You got this. Concentrate, focus on the quality, not how many you can get in one minute. Torso is upright, hands from the hips, booty back. You got it. Keeping that wrist straight, open up that heart chest. Shoulders relax, roll back, try not to slouch. Increasing your range of motion as you sit deep into your squats. Check in. You wanna drop roughly at about a 90, okay? Bonus here when we hit glutes. We're definitely tapping in with legs, with lunges and squats, right? Even bridges. It's a bonus. Good job, finish right here. Squat lunge. Curtsy, big step back. Good job. Weights off to the side. If you have wrist weights, now is a great time to place them onto your hands, onto your wrist. If you don't, that's fine. You can definitely use a light weight or one of your dumbbells that you brought with you today. I'm a believer. Change your workout to change your body. So you're gonna come up, cross, two, three, four, roll it back. Bend those knees, protect that lower back as you come up. Cross, two, three, four, roll it back. 
Breathe. Solid minute. With these cross punches, you tap into those obliques, the side part of those abs. You got it, come on. How are we doing? Canned goods. You need something on the lighter side. Water bottles that are filled. In case whatever you have for your resistance training, your dumbbells might be on the heavier side, right? Really rotate, don't just punch. Squeeze and breathe. You got it. Last few seconds, come on. Legs straight up towards the sky ceiling. Opposite hand, opposite leg. Second minute. Abs, still tapping into those obliques. Legs straight up. Press those heels towards that sky, yep. Come on. Really squeeze. Shoulder blades lifted off your mat, off the floor. Wrapping up, less than 15, really squeeze. You got it, come on. Slowing it down, roll it up. Ankle weights, bring it on. We usually have these hidden. You probably have one and not the other. Kind of old school, but guess what? They still work. Flip over. All right, so we're gonna start off without our dumbbells, okay? We're gonna go into donkey kicks. Set up, knees, hips aligned, shoulder wrist stacked chest between the hands. We're gonna focus on one side. Full range of motion. Got it? And then we're gonna switch, same deal. Full range of motion here. Try to keep your hips squared off. In other words, don't rock, open up, okay? We'll do the dog EP, fire hydrant in a moment. So right now, just focusing, pressing that heel up towards the sky, towards the ceiling. We're here, 30 seconds on each side. And we'll switch up the booty move. Sounds good? Concept. You really have to squeeze, make that muscle, right? Lower down, relax, stretch. That knee stays right over that mat, don't rest. Keep it up. When you're ready, 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 right into the other cheek. Left cheek, right cheek. Other side, 30 seconds here. You got this, come on. In other words, what I actually like to say, make heads turn. Yep, right here. Make it stand for no reason. Last few seconds. Excellent job, lowering it down. Straight out, pause, resist. Ready, ready, jump right in, same deal. 30 seconds each side. Checking in. As you set up, right before you lift that leg, your core is engaged, so definitely be mindful. Abs, lower back, hello glutes. Right into it, switch. Teamwork. Results is not a dream, right? 
Teamwork makes the dream work. Really engage that core. Extra squeeze at the top. Squeeze that side, squeeze that cheek. Breathe with me here, come on. Head and neck along with the spine. Listen to that body. You can push through this. You definitely can push through. Know the difference between, I feel this, I need a break, versus this hurts, I, I wanna take a break. Right? If you feel that burn, guess what? It's working. Give me two more reps. Squeeze, squeeze. Excellent. We're going to flip right back over. Hitting the abs, glutes, and we're going to come up for cardio. Bent those knees. You're going to reach forward and back. Set up. All the way up. Solid minute here. You got it. Come on. Use your abdominal strength to lift. Resist on your way down. Exhale, squeeze. Remember that cat cow we did earlier? Scoop that belly button in. Towards that spine. Keep it up. You got this. Less than 30 seconds here. We're gonna flip back over. Tap more into glutes. Tap those glutes. Really squeezing. Transition right back to cardio. Sounds good? Monica, that sounds excellent. Of course it does. Wrap up. One more. Who else is feeling these wrist weights? We're gonna come onto our forearms. Elbow, shoulders aligned. Straight leg. Straight leg, lift. Set up. So watch for a couple of seconds, couple of reps. Jump right in. So when I lift that leg, my toes stay pointed down towards the earth. And I'm only focusing on that glute engagement. Being mindful of that back. So definitely readjust, reassess. Your concentration should be to those hips and glutes. Try not to collapse the upper body towards that mat. The beauty of this is that we're alternating, giving that leg, that cheek, that glute a break. How are we doing? I don't know about you, but this would be, in my world, the calm. For some, this might be considered the storm. Let me know in the comment section, what are your strengths? Like, is cardio your thing? Like, okay, I can't wait. Cardio is my comfort zone. And then for some of us, it might be the strength training. Let me know, I'm kind of curious. Last time, each side. Good job. Equipment off. If you have all this on, now's a good time to take a break from it. It's already nice and sweaty. How about yours? I do want to jump rope, but guess what? We're going to hit squat jumps. With the weight. I'm going to leave it up to you. One or two. Yep. So you're here. Legs are closed. Sit into it. Right here, 30 seconds, let's go. Chest is lifted, toes, knees out. Breathe in, exhale as you lift. Stopping those weights at about chest level here. You got it, come on. Breathe with me here, last 10 seconds, you got it, come on.
One more rep. Good job, weights down. We're gonna hit that lateral shuffle. Side to side, squat deep, all out. Squat tap, 30 second push, you got it, come on. Travel with me here. You got this. Come on. Last 10 seconds here. Take it back. Good job. Towel off, grab a quick drink of water if you need it. I'm definitely needed, I'm breathless, how about you? Woo, take a quick sip. Back on our dumbbells, we're gonna go into walking lunges. Bend those knees. You definitely can adjust and work with one weight instead of two. So we're gonna pulse to stand strong. Legs, feet about hip distance apart. Bend both knees at about a 90. Take your time. Work with the space that you have. Stay low on that bottom half and really squeeze. Yes. Stretch those glutes. Squeeze at the top. If you've been working out with me for some time, I believe I even talked about bumping your favorite track and just hitting walking lunges with them, right? Walking lunges to your favorite track. We're gonna take it back and switch it up again. We're gonna go into abs and glutes. So a combination of the two right back onto your mat. You got it, come on. Finish off here. Good work. You're gonna take the weights with you. Have a seat. So we'll go into full setups for three reps. Weights at the hips. Lower back is pressed against the floor. Heels and knees aligned. Head is relaxed. Bridges for three reps. Sounds good. Solid minute. Three and three. The power of three. How are we doing? We're at that finish line. Really squeeze at the top with those bridges. Really drive those hips up. Can you do this without the weights? Of course you can. Concentrate and engage. Beauty of bridges, set up. Not only are you working the glutes, you're working that lower back, the abs, hello, hamstrings, the back of those legs. Oh yeah, 20 seconds to go. Looking good. Take your time, set up. Belly button to the spine. Use your butt to lift. Breathe with me here, exhaling at the top. One more, one more. Finish off here. Excellent. 
job. Whenever you're ready, you're gonna take those weights off the side. Woo! Extend the arms and legs. Kick of those fingers, toes. You may now arch that back. Breathing into the nose. As you exhale, extend those limbs a little further here. Think of those fingers, toes, point flex. Rotate, draw those knees in towards the chest. Back massage, rock it out, forward and back. Breathing into the nose, exhale to the mouth. A couple of more times here. Center, you're gonna slide one leg in. Sitting onto your sit bones, lengthen, and hull up. Exhale, forward fold. Think about driving the upper body towards that leg, not just the head. Relax, release. Listening to your body here, if you're shaking, you're gonna back off a little bit, right? Look at those fingers, toes. Deep in, hull up. Exhale, other side, same stretch. Lengthen. Hold the body in half. If you're shaking, readjust. Back off a little bit. You want to go to where you are comfortable here. Excellent work today. I'm proud of you. You did it. Let me know in the comment section what you would like to see more or less of. Even pieces of fitness equipment you may have around the house. We're going to come on to our abdominals here. Onto the forearms if you have a tight back. Breathe in, exhale, lift that heart, chest. Abs, lower down. Same thing on those forearms. If you can, bring those hands right along the side of the chest. Breathing in, exhale, lift, look up. Well done, well done, you got it. Hips, butt, back, child's pose. Slide one leg in. Pigeon, sit into it, outer thigh glute stretch. Hang out here. Good work. If you have time, stretch a bit more after your workout, after class today. Other side. Slide it in. Pigeon, sit on that side, cleansing breath, breathing in. And exhale, allow yourself to relax. So keep in mind, if you haven't done this before, maybe in a while, you might be sore. Keys keep coming back. Carefully come up. Walk your hands towards the feet. Bend those knees. Deep inhale up. Exhale. Relax. From here, shake your head no and yes. Bend those knees, roll up slow, massage your legs, deep and hull up. Hands at the top, lean back, push those hips forward. Breathe with me here. Hands at the hips, sit into it, deep and hull up. Walk your legs, feet out. Exhale, relax, I appreciate you all joining me today. One more. I look forward to seeing you soon. Have a wonderful day. I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye for now.